I'm Lori. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Can I ask you where the kids are? Grandparents are very worried about your kids. Lori, everybody wants to know. What happened to JJ? Are the kids okay? Just answer the question. We love Lori. I'll tell you that right now. She was a good mom. She was a wonderful mom. Loving, doting, caring mom. I have a wonderful husband who is watching our two beautiful children. Lori has five marriages in all. She started talking about this group that she was a part of. This religious group led by Chad Daybell. Chad has written in his books that his visions pierce the veil between worlds. He claimed he was Methuselah and that I was one of Methuselah's wives. He talks about visits from evil spirits, from demons, the end of the world. Her husband Charles said it got stranger. Body camera video showed fourth husband Charles Vallow basically telling police that he feared Lori had lost her mind. She said, you're not Charles. I don't know who you are, what you did with Charles, but I can murder you now with my powers. Charles called and he said, Lori's gone crazy. An investigation spans multiple police departments, different states, and five deaths. Chad's former wife exhumed. Police end up looking on Chad's property. This is a case involving zombies, evil spirits, two missing children, and a gravedigger's wife. Imagine what a tropical island would look like and what it would feel like. Kauai is exactly that. It's a pretty amazing place. The wedding between Lori and Chad Daybell was in Kauai. That's right. Were you invited? No. I don't think anybody was there except for the two of them whoever performed the services. The photos are great, but the one thing you notice about them is it's only the bride and groom. Seven-year-old son JJ is not there. Neither is 16-year-old daughter Tylee. Not at the wedding, not in Hawaii, not staying with friends or family. JJ, say hi. Cops are looking high and low, but they can't find him anywhere. And yet, the wedding goes on. The story and what's happening at this wedding is incredibly dark. The urgent search for those missing Idaho siblings. Officials say the kids have not been seen since September. Good morning, Tom. This is really a mysterious one. The story goes national. Number one, because nobody has seen these kids in weeks. What really drives this story is that the mom is completely silent, which bothers people. It's very bizarre. Why wouldn't she just tell people where they are? Why keep it secret? Chad, Lori, can you tell me where your kids are? Would you tell me what happened to JJ? Can you tell me where Tylee is? Just to see her utter disregard you know, for you know, people's questions. With Lori silent, we reached out to her family to see if they could shed any light on her behavior or the whereabouts of her kids. They agreed to sit down with us early on in the investigation. At the time, they painted a radically different picture than the one the public was seeing. Thank you. Well, I'm Janice Cox and I'm Lori's mother. And I am very much appreciative of an opportunity to say what I know to be true about Lori. She's beautiful, she's sweet, she's kind, she's generous to a fault. Lori and Summer both took dance and they both ended up being cheerleaders. They both love sports. They both played on the softball team that I coached, our church softball team, for three years. Lori was the pitcher and would never let me take her out. It was really sad. She became a hairstylist because she loves help making people look more beautiful. But the most important thing to me is the kind of mother she is, the way she dedicated herself to her children. I realized that it looks bad. But I know Lori very well, and I know she would not harm her children or anyone's children. I know Lori, and I know Lori's done everything she can to protect her kids. When I first started talking to her, the first thing she said to me was, Mom, you know me. You know I'm taking care of my kids. 
So the way the family describes it, they describe this as a very close-knit unit, but there is something really weird. They weren't at the wedding because they didn't even know there was a wedding. I don't think I knew that Lori married Chad Daybell until I saw it on TV. To fully understand Lori, I think it helps to go back in time to see how her past relationships may have played a role in her current situation. In the late 1980s, Lori's a high school cheerleader in Rialto, California. She's popular, she's smart, she comes from a devout Mormon family. In 1992, she marries her high school sweetheart. He wasn't my favorite, and we didn't have a close relationship. She left home when she was 18, and we asked Lori to wait a year. But they just went off and decided to do their own thing and got married. And so we didn't go to the wedding. There was soon a second marriage, and it's out of this marriage Lori's first child, Colby, is born. We weren't in favor of him, even though he was Colby's father. Hoping the third time is the charm, Lori marries again, this time to Joseph Ryan. You know, they caught people's attention because they were beautiful. They were magnanimous. They were both extroverts. They were, you know, just kind of larger than life. One reason Lori had wanted to get married was to have another baby. So she got pregnant with Tylee right away. And she was really excited about having Tylee. It's during this time Lori makes an appearance on the game show Wheel of Fortune. Gopher, Doc, Isaac, and Captain Stubing. Yeah! And in that clip, Lori describes married life in glowing terms. I have a wonderful husband, Joseph, at home who is watching our two beautiful children, Colby, who is seven, and Tylee, who is one. Yeah, what do you guys like to do for fun? Uh, we like to play all kinds of sports on our three acres. Okay, sounds like you have a nice life there. We do. Congratulations. Thank nice you. Hit. Lori does not lack for confidence. She was bold enough to get up on stage at a Texas beauty pageant. She's Mrs. Hayes County. Her husband's name is Joseph. They've been married for three and a half years, and they have two children. In 2004, Lori was recruited to do the pageant, and she worked really hard to get in perfect shape. I don't know really what prompted her to want to do the pageant, other than it gave her kind of an outlet. And she thought that might help her marriage at the time. Lori does have stage presence. She's very poised. She did everything beautifully. Tell us who you are. What makes you tick? Being a good mom is very important to me, and a good wife, and a good worker. And being all those things together is not easy. So I'm basically a ticking time bomb. <laughs> Joseph Ryan appears to have been a bit of a ticking time bomb himself. I did witness him uh, be physically abusive toward Colby. He was physically abusive from the very get-go. Now that Wheel of Fortune clip we saw Laurie in becomes a lot more interesting because we're able to see how she can portray this illusion of happiness even when her marriage is falling apart. The marriage implodes under allegations that Joe Ryan abused both children. Those allegations were investigated, but never substantiated. This custody battle drags on for years. How are you guys doing? Enter Alex Cox, Lori's brother like no other. I found out Christmas is wrong. Jesus was not born in Bethlehem. He was born in El Salvador. Alex Cox has showbiz aspirations doing cartoon voiceovers as well as comedy on stage. I haven't got a quick as Ian Wabbit's license. He will play a pivotal role in Lori's life. Alex is a key piece to a puzzle that will take investigators months to put together. I'm Alex, and I'm going to be Looney Tunes. Tell me what your impressions of Alex were when you met him. My impressions of Alex was that um, he was a little off and lacked social skills or just maybe didn't really yeah, dad, connect dad, with dad. people. I think that's all. What did he tell you about Lori's husband, Joseph Ryan, Tylee's dad? He had told me that there had been some allegations of abuse and that he kind of took it upon himself to protect 
Tylee and Colby and that he had attempted to take Joe's life. Alex got into it with Joe Ryan in a parking lot and assaulted Ryan with a taser in the heart. Alex winds up serving time for aggravated assault. It's another failed marriage for Lori. Enter Charles Vallow, a man who will eventually become husband number four. It's interesting to note Lori's early marriages didn't last very long, but it didn't sour her on the institution of marriage either. I don't know why Lori's been married so many times. I think she has always worn her heart on her sleeve. She thinks that she is trying to help people when she marries them. Can Charles make Lori happy? Can anyone make this mother of two happy? It's like the old adage, mama ain't happy, nobody's happy. Mary in Las Vegas. Charles Vallow, to me, was the best of Lori's husbands. They had been dating, and we all liked him. I felt like he was a great husband. I felt like he adored Lori, and that he would go out of his way to make her comfortable, to make her happy. After the wedding, this couple bounces around for a little bit before finally settling in Arizona. Charles and Lori came in, and I thought, well, those are the beautiful people. Lori's protective brother, Alex Cox, also likes Charles. And Charles and Alex were very good friends. They laughed over everything together. Charles loved Alex, and Alex loved Charles. Charles was doing okay for himself professionally. He was a managing partner in a financial investment firm, and he was making $20,000 a month. Money was very important to him, and he was very showy. The big cars, the big trips, the big houses, that was mainly Charles. Lori enjoyed those things, but to her, that wasn't as important as just having a happy family. Happy family. This is a family that blends Lori's daughter, Tylee, and their adopted son, JJ, under one roof. Tylee is the dearest, dearest little girl. You need someone to cuddle with, but you don't have a significant other? Worry no more. She has a tough exterior, but she's got a marshmallow heart. How would you describe the relationship between Tylee and Lori? Lori was who Tylee really loved, and I think she looked up to her mom. Most everyone we speak with depict Lori as a loving, doting, caring mom who will do anything for her kids. JJ is my biological grandson via my son, and Charles is my brother. Charles and Lori adopted JJ, and they let us maintain the grandparents' role. We loved Lori. Now, I'll tell you that right now. I told everybody. She was a good mom. She was a wonderful yes. mom. He was so fast. He was the fastest little kid I've ever seen. She was a great mom with yes. a special needs child yes. who she took on as her own. Yes. After they started seriously dating, she talked to him about our religion, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And she's been a member her whole life, and we all were. He ended up joining our church. What happens in this marriage is what happens in most marriages. There are good times and bad times. There are financial ups and downs. But for the better part of 14 years, the marriage really seemed to work until it began to unravel. She started talking about this new group that she was a part of. She would bring it up more and more often. And I could see that she was becoming more involved with it and it was kind of becoming more of the focal point in her life. What she had mentioned was the name Chad Dayville. He's an author, he's a believer that the end of the world as we know it is coming soon. Dayville has written dozens of these post-apocalyptic, very dark books where he uses what he describes as fictional characters to describe real events, claiming that the future has been channeled through him. And this is the literature that Laurie was reading. So Lori had always been a fan of Chad's books. And so that's how I first heard about Chad from Lori was she would talk about this author that she was really interested in and really connected with his work. She just looked up to him. Right. Kind of like a super by fan. Him, a yeah. super fan. I would describe her as a super fan. 
Husband Charles doesn't find it so super. In fact, soon accusations are flying that Lori and Chad are more than just friends. I know she did tell me one time that Charles was accusing her of having an affair. She said it like this. She said he's accusing me of having an affair with Chad Daybell. <laughs> Affair or not, Lori is certainly embracing Chad's teachings, as does Lori's brother Alex Cox. They go on a recruiting trip to spread the word.